Hello everybody, Wild Tracker here, and welcome, welcome to another episode here on the new Riador server. Yes, welcome back guys, and uh, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for all the feedback on the last video uh, about this, this place in particular. So, uh, lots of positive feedback, some good suggestions of uh, things to do, so uh, yeah, we're going to be taking that into account. So, uh, thank you very much, I do appreciate it, um, and wh whilst I'm on my feet, whilst I'm on my feet, if, if you are enjoying the videos, don't forget to click that like button down below. Uh, that I also really appreciate and um, if you're new to the channel subscribe so uh, yeah that would be pretty good and come and join me on my discord channel so there you go commercial over um, let's get cracking on today um, as you can see I've started to sort of fill this out a little bit but it's, it's still not full so I've put myself a little brewing station here we've got our brewing supplies inside and yeah that's nice and simple and then a uh, load of potions in here so uh, that's where I'm starting to store that sort of thing. Uh, these are just empty. Uh, this side over here, did I start putting stuff in them? Uh, books, that's what I started doing, enchanted books, because I've got so many enchanted books, I started filling those in there. So we'll probably use that uh, for enchanting. Little workstation here, we'll probably put another anvil this side just to even it up. Um, but yeah, that's, that's there. And I'm going to probably use carpet to to sort of go over some areas like the glowstone there um, but we've still got the rest of it to fit out I'm just using this to sort of generally dump some stuff but I've still got chests all over the place there's chests over there and chests over there still got to sort out a storage or a proper big storage system shall we say um, got some suggestions on these two nobody actually mentioned whether they like the um, with the uh, the reed, the, not the reeds, the uh, the vines on it or not, but one suggestion was perhaps to change this block out to some concrete. So I might try a few different things, but obviously I'd like it to match um, somehow these uh, light sensors on the top because you know th they're the things that turn the lamps on and off. But it'd be quite good to maybe try out some different bases, maybe some concrete. So um, yeah, might might do that a little bit later. Let's get our hat on while we can. Um, I also need to replenish the whole in fact let's just uh, make ourselves a beacon because I want to make myself another beacon but I do need to be replenishing um, all of the uh, never stars I keep getting so I've used that one up there and I've basically sold all but one I've got one left at um, spawn I think I've sold six um, which is pretty good. Um, I'm liking that. People are obviously liking my uh, my little Never Star service. Um, so yeah, that that's something I think we're going to have to carry on uh, doing. Um, but I need to up my production. So that's something we're going to do today is try and up my production of the um, with a skeleton killing so yeah that's what we're going to do uh, and before we do that we're going to make this larger so we can get um, we don't need that one there we just need to extend this by one out this way like so and then this one goes here like this to there and then we need to extend this a little bit too and so does that need to go Yes, that needs to go there, and then this bottom one needs to go all the way across. And then that should give us two full beacons, which is quite nice because it means you only need, I think it's about 24. Um, I, did I have 25 when we started? Uh, yes, I did. So, yeah, you only actually need 24 of these um, blocks to make it a double beacon, so that's pretty cool, really. It doesn't doesn't cost as much. Um, when you put them side by side like that and that's on and we do have some iron with us so we'll use that so this one here at the moment is on regen and uh, regen and haste so we're probably going to change that to uh, regen and speed so we can whiz around our base and then we're going to make this one um, when we do it let's try again uh, maybe I have to click something first. Haste 2. So we're going to make that one haste 2. Um, no, we don't want jump boost 2. So haste 2. Tick. So now if we have a look and we get rid of it. This is annoying, by the way. Hopefully they fix it. We're in pre-release 5, um, by the way. Um, so getting closer to the final version. But it's just annoying that you can't see those potion effects when you've got your, your book open. But uh, yeah, so we've got haste 2, regen and speed now, which is pretty good because it means down in the mines I can actually um, do some speed mining. And I've been doing that 
actually purely for the um, for for getting stone um, because I wanted to use lots of stone. So uh, yeah, I've, I've been doing a bit of sort of uh, mining with that, which is my my picks are a little bit low, and uh, getting loads of stone down there. So that that's that's something. Um, so two beacons there, which is uh, pretty good. We will aim to get um, more than that, and that's not the final place for the beacons. I've got some ideas of how I want the beacons to fit into this build, um, but we don't need to do that yet, and we'll need more iron because I won't be able to have them next to each other. Uh, well, I might not. Maybe I will. If I get four or five, it might work better, actually. Um, so maybe I will, um, but we'll, we'll see about that. What I do need to do, as I said at the beginning, is up my um, production... Um, and if we're going to go through it, and we are, um, yeah, I need to up my production of killing w wither skellies. Um, so to do that, um, we're going to make some advances to the farming area I've got uh, on. So that's what we're going to do today. And the other thing as well, um, while I'm at it actually, uh, you may remember in the last episode we spoke about Dougie and his killing the wither in a, in a way that was um, yeah, <coughs> manly, uh, which he failed to do. Um, so uh, we were thinking about this afterwards. What what can we get Dougie to do to pay us back? So myself, S. Ed Petty, Rika and Brad, we all got together and uh, yeah, we, we came up with a little idea, so we recorded this clip, so whilst I head over to the farm, um, you guys go and watch this. The other day there was a wither on the loose in Paul and Dougie's space, and the four of us were able to kill it easily, right? Right. Uh -huh, yeah, indeed. <laughs> so, because we killed the wither, we have the nether star, or I have it, I had it. I buried it um, and we need to find it again because they owe us something. They owe us a favor and we want to make sure that they actually do us that favor by forcing them to do it or they won't get the hints where they can find their nether star, right? Yeah. yeah, I think that's fair enough. Yes, we, we, we help them, they, they should help us. So we've got a little challenge that they, they, we want to set uh, them. Each one of us uh, have picked something that they want them to, to do for us. I myself want a 5x5 five five concrete powder door that pops out of the ground and goes back down. And I'm too lazy to look up stuff myself, so they should do it for me and build it in the base where I tell them to do that. What do you have planned, Brad? Um, I want them to kill me in the most creative way possible while, I, while I'm not AFK. <laughs> Since they're good at dying anyway, so yeah. Sounds like something to die for. Um, <laughs> well, I, I, I need some villagers over at my base. I haven't had time to get any yet, so they, they can either bring a couple over for me or they can capture some villagers zombies for me and convert them. That would be quite nice. I'd like to have a polar beer. <laughs> and once they complete our challenges that or our favors you could say they will get a map of each and every one of us right mm -hmm. yeah. and we can look at this map because we've got it prepared here of course this is not the real map we've got another one oh no uh, but this is a, se uh, a setup and you can see that on this map there are little markers on each map there's a marker and if you draw lines in between the markers, it will point you to one specific spot. And I think we should go there. So I'll put a screenshot up right now uh, so you can see where it points us to. I'll grab the map and we'll go to that position. So follow me. So in theory, it should be somewhere around here. So maybe we can just dig down and then see if we find it. Uh, Normally it's kind of unsafe to... Oh, oh yeah, found it. Trek, are you around too? Yes, you're coming down yeah. and Rick is ah. coming down too. Yeah. There you are. I so come straight in it. Yeah. this is how it will look like at the spot where the lines meet and then they will find a chest where the nether star is inside. So that's how easy it is. They just need to do us a favor now and uh, then they will get the part of the map where they can find the exon. They need to see where uh, they intersect and then dig at that spot and that's where they find their nether star. 
<laughs> Good luck to them, I'd say. <laughs> Are we mean? <laughs> no. Oh, kind of. Well, maybe we should tell them it isn't too deep in the ground. That they don't need to need to dig twenty blocks. Well, they now know. They they're watching this video. They can see those elements. <laughs> yeah, and. What we should maybe tell them is that, of course, uh, we maybe saw it up there, maybe we can head up again. Uh, I'll grab the nether star because we'll put that in a, in a safe spot in a moment. Um, so if we go to the axes that we do have on the ground, uh, they are made out of coal blocks. And the way this works is that they render as black blocks uh, on the map. And um, that is, of course, pretty easy to spot in the world, right? Mm. A bit too yeah. easy, I think. So what we'll do is remove those uh, from the ground and uh, then because the map isn't re-rendering, it will stay on the map, but they won't see it on the ground. But uh, if we have a look at the map up here now, we remove the X, uh, it is still here. And if I take it now and I am in the area where it should be and I put it back, the X is gone. So. This is a little gift from us for you, Dougie and Paul. If you are doing this, don't bring the map to the area where you want to dig, because that will remove the X from the map and your <laughs> nether star will be lost forever. That would be a shame, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes. Well, we might know where it is. We might have to come and get it back for ourselves, if that's the case. Yeah, if they fail, uh, it's ours, and then uh, we'll just split it. Like, each of us, us gets a corner of the nether star, right? Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm looking forward to get my door. Rika's looking forward to getting her polar bear. Brett uh, is getting killed at some point, and you are getting your villager. And then they have all four parts of the puzzle and can figure out where the nether star is. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, let's good. then uh, set up the real map and uh, split it up so they can get it from us. Nice. So here we have it. The nether star is placed, the maps are marked, and we just need to pick them up, one each of us, and then they can try and find their nether star. And there is that map. Um, yes, it's safe and secure in my little black box. Dougie cannot get access to it. So um, yeah, if you want my map, I, I, I want my villagers. So. Uh, do do pop them over and when I'm when I'm happy that there is some villagers at my place and they are alive and in a secure area um you you can have that map so uh, yeah I I should look forward to those and then you 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 can find a quarter of the puzzle to the for the for the star so there you go um so here we are at the fortress this is where I've been getting my withers skull skulls skulls with a skeleton skulls um and as you can see I've spent a lot of time over here I have completely slabbed this fortress inside and out, so every rooftop is done. Um, the inside's all done, um, and even even these sort of over here, uh, which is my little sort of run along platforms, all these are half slabs. So nothing can spawn in this fortress. The only things that can spawn are things like that wither skeleton over there. Um, we are getting one or two mobs at the top, places like that, and obviously you know that sort of thing, but doesn't actually affect them that much uh, but this is just a nice area big enough that you can um, you know sort of whiz around on here and get uh, get the skulls as of when they drop and I'm just using my little bow technique of uh, my bow there my fortune uh, or my looting sword in my hand at the same time um, yeah just with a fire potion really because the biggest challenge around here uh, is those uh, those blaze as you can see so this is uh, this is what I've started on. At the moment, we've got this one platform, and these indicate crossroads or buildings or something along those lines there. So this was a so yeah, we had this come through into this area, uh, and that came all the way along to there. This was an actual building area, so it wasn't a crossroads. However, this was a crossroads, so it went down there, went that way a bit, and linked up to that building. This was a crossroads. And this was a crossroad. So we've got three crossroads and one building area. So I suspect this sort of corner here may challenge a little bit to whether we get this, the skeleton spawns because uh, of, of the distance they spawn from things. But um, the rest of it is pretty good. So that's why I've got our little base area up over here. And I'm going to have this as our, our walkway up. So this is then go on to another floor. 
So that's the idea behind it. It's so very similar to what I did on uh, last season in New Uh What I do need to do though is get loads of blocks. That's my biggest challenge I ran out of. But I should have enough in here now. I've got glass. And I've decided so I don't run out of glass we're going to use glass panes. Uh, that seems to be a little bit easier in terms of building. Um, but I haven't got very much in the way of uh, never brick which I you know really like to have more of because I'm, I'm just using never brick on the floor. I'm not sure I'm guessing any other block would do. I haven't tried concrete or anything like that, but I'm just going to stick to this for now. I'm not sure how many levels we're going to do. Last time I think we did something like um, 11. No, not 11, 8. Why do I want to say 11? Um, but yeah, we, we, we did something like um, 8 levels, and I, I don't want to fall off like that if I can help it. Um, this time we are going to do perhaps not as many, um, and we might play around with the... Um, you know, a different way of killing them because um, some people have said to me, you know, that there's a way you can do it with um, with those uh, light sensor things, um, something to do with the height of those. So maybe that's something we play around with. It's a new new sort of thing that I haven't seen before. Um, so that might be quite interesting, quite good to do. Um, yeah, so uh, it just it just means I've got to do a lot of grinding, really. So I don't really want to be sort of, you know, doing all that grinding here on, on video, and I'll have to remove that. Um, but yeah, I just want to get this, this next floor up, really. I think that's the next stage of, of getting this nice and uh, productive. And we're not really getting lots of stuff here at the moment. I think there are people in the nether, because people are working on the nether hub uh, and that area over there. So it means that we're not getting the spawn rates in the nevers we would be. I, I was here the other night and um, obviously the people that were in the never suddenly logged off and all of a sudden I, I had some, you know, sort of spawns of, uh, you know, four skeletons at a time and, you know, there was probably sort of 12 with the skeletons at one time on the platform. Uh, and look at that, we've already gone through those blocks straight away. So I'm going to be going through blocks and if needs be, I'm going to have to switch over to stone or something like that because yeah it's it's a thing it's a thing Def, definitely run out of blocks so let me carry on with this oh we got some more in there that's good um and we'll see how far we get on this today well i think i've got um fair bit done uh far more than i actually thought in reality because uh, i've managed to slab all this and put the ceiling on there i still need to pretty this up a bit because i've got some areas here that i need to replace stuff and um i don't think i've done too bad because in this release which is 1.12 pre-release 5, um, we're getting a little bit of, um, com sort of not computer lag, server lag, um, and it's causing a bit of an issue with, with mobs and that sort of thing. But uh, despite all that, we're, we're still doing okay. Although you can see I'm down to four hearts and I've run out of potions here. So it's probably a good time to stop it, especially when you get things like this over here. Let's see if we can hit him. You can see that. Look, look at the way those pigmen are moving. It's not very good. Um, and he's over there, so I'm not going to um, not going to get in his way. I haven't done the roof on this because um, I kind of know I can go up a bit more. If we look over there, you can see we are not at the upper upper limit of the fortress yet. So this this particular part of the fortress was quite down low. Um, so in reality, we could probably get at least another two layers on here. I would have thought, um, and that. That'll be pretty good to do if we can. Let's just kill this guy anyway, because I don't want him accidentally hitting a pigman. Um, that would be very, very bad. Yes, gone. Okay, I just want to check over here, because we've been collecting a few skulls that we've been doing this as well, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we're, we're definitely going to put another layer on top of this, and perhaps even another layer again. So we've got three at the moment. So we will change that down to, or change that to five. And you can see something else has already spawned here. Hello, and you behind. You can slowly come over here lagging. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's definitely an issue with pre-release 5 with... Um, I think it's chomping up the um, the game tick. Um, and the CPU on the server is just running absolutely insane. Um, and the days have been running long and things like that. So, um, yeah, we're just, just making the best of it. The only thing we can do is reboot the server every now and then. Look at that. So even the arrow didn't fly very far, even though it was meant to. It's, uh, yeah, not very good. And there's another one over there. I've got my fire potion on, so we might as well kill him while we can. Um, so, uh, yeah, I've got quite a few skulls as it is, which is pretty awesome. Um, and I think we need to go and uh, kill a few more with us. So I'm going to go and do that. Again, I'll just do it off camera in the um, the killing chamber. You've already seen that before. Um, I've got 13 skulls. So, um, 
yeah, that's that's another four stars that I can uh, to do, and you can just see how nice this is with stuff spawning because it, you know, you can be in the same room if you like, and they still spawn. He's going to run right in front of you, and he. I don't want to hit a pigman. That that would be really really bad. Um, so yeah, I th I think because I've only got four four hearts, I'm going to get out of here and um, go and kill these. Uh, Go and kill these dudes. Uh, where is that? You can hear that as well, couldn't you? Just a vroom, vroom, vroom. Really, really slow. Really, really slow. But hey, you know that's 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 not an issue. We will um, we will get that sorted. So, but I think that's where we're going to call it a day here on this video. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment if you have. Um, and if you've got any suggestions for the farm, things like that, then um, you know, let me know down below. That would be really cool. And um, yeah, otherwise we'll see you here next time on the new Rear Door server. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.